you so much for joining us for Reading by the Branch. During our time together, we will read several of your favorite books. So go ahead and get comfortable and snuggle up and let's get lost in a good book. Before you were born, I asked God for something special. I asked him for you. Dear loving Father in heaven above, send a sweet baby for mama to love. The first time I held you in my arms, you fell asleep, all snuggly and cozy, and I prayed. Thank you, dear God, for this cute, cuddly bear. May my little one know your love's always there. When you took your first wobbly little steps, I asked God to guide you wherever you go. Guide every step, every day, every year. Help this cub follow you and to you draw near. When you said your first prayers, your voice was like a song, the sweetest song I've ever heard, and God heard you too. Listen, dear Lord, as my munchkin prays, may this heart turn to you and love you always. You said your first no when you should have said yes, but mama never ever stopped loving you. I asked God for help. Please help my child to learn what is good and to do what a dear little honey bear should. The first time you saw a butterfly, it fluttered around your fuzzy head and it tickled your little round ears. You laughed and I prayed, God, give this silly bear dances and wiggles the happiest fun, and bundles of giggles. The first time you got hurt, I gave you the biggest, warmest, safest mama hug, and I asked God to make you all better again. Whenever my sweetie pie hurts for a while, please change that sad face from a frown to a smile. On that day, when you first put your clothes on all by yourself, I was so proud of you. We sang and we danced and I said, thank you, God. Thank you so much for each little blessing. Today we are grateful for by myself dressing. Then one day you were so brave. You spent the whole day at school without me. And while you were gone, I asked God to help you. My little ones headed for the classrooms and hallways. Please go with my pumpkin today and then always. Today and tomorrow, even when you're all grown up and I am old and gray, never forget precious child, your mama will always pray for you. Dear loving Father in heaven above, thank you so much for this child whom I love. Amen. <music>
Mama is always gentle. She rubs coconut oil along my scalp and slowly pulls the comb through my hair. But sometimes it still hurts. When mama gets to especially tangled places, I try my hardest not to cry, sucking in my breath and pressing my hands together until they're red. But a few tears always manage to squeeze out. Mama, stop, I cry when I can't stand the comb tugging at my hair any longer. Mama puts the comb down and rubs my hurt in places. Then she leans in close to me like she has a big secret to tell. Do you know why you're so lucky to have this head of hair, Kiana, she asks. I shake my head no, because it's beautiful and you can wear it in any style that you choose. I can spin your hair into fine, soft yarn, just like our grandmothers did at their spinning wheels, and weave it into a puffy little bun. Or I can part your hair into straight lines and plant rows of braids along your scalp, the way we plant seeds in our garden. Then wait and watch for them to grow. In the morning, before we walk to the store, Mama adds colorful beads to the ends of my braids. The beads click to the rhythm of my walk, helping me to remember what we're going to buy. Tap, tap, clicky, clacky, milk, bread, peanut butter. Folks on the street look at me and smile as I dance along to the tap, tap, clicky clacky music my hair makes just for me. Some days I just let my hair be free to do what it wants, to go any which way it pleases. Then my hair surrounds my head like a globe. This is my Afro style. Once when I wore it, the kids at school teased me. My head felt heavy and I let it hang down low. But my teacher made me feel better. She said that when she was growing up, folks counted their hair as a blessing. Wearing an Afro was a way for them to stand up for what they believed, to let the world know that they were proud of who they were and where they came from. I love my hair because it is thick as a forest, soft as cotton candy, and curly as a vine winding upward, reaching the sky and climbing toward outer space. Today, I am wearing it in my favorite style of all, two ponytails that stick out on either side of my head and flap in the air like a pair of wings. One of these days, I just might take off and fly. Thank you.